Joe Snow right here and I have great news for those of you running iOS 9.3.4 on a 32-bit device. Finally, there is a jailbreak called Trident for 32-bit devices running iOS 9.3.4. Well, it's a jailbreak that is apparently open source. We're kind of going back into the uh, Limer and Exploit era when things were open source and available for general public to analyze and, uh, I don't know, make it even better. And this um, Trident thing was created and or commented here on the uh, GitHub by Benjamin42. and. As you can see, it is based on these two exploits that the first one allows an attacker to obtain sensitive information from kernel memory via a crafted app, we're going to get into it, and the second one that allows an attacker to execute arbitrary code in a privileged context or to cause, uh, or to cause a denial of service, memory corruption via a crafted app. And the uh, third one that is used it's a WebKit exploit that is not included even if the project is called Trident. It's the only about kernel worms here. So, what it is uh, used for? Apparently, as you can see from here, the exploit target is iOS 9.3.4 with this uh, build number for iPad 3.1, 32-bit devices only. Well, you can actually make it to work with all devices that run iOS uh, 9.3.4 that are 32-bit if you pay a little bit of attention and change some addresses. And here it says that uh, this is not a full jailbreak, but it gives you the access to the um, to the memory. So it actually is for gaining root access over the device. At this point, it says here, it is possible to jailbreak the device by patching more kernel functions. For example, the sandboxing and CS, or code signing enforcement. We discussed about sandboxing and code uh, signing enforcement in the video that is uh, in the description down below if you want to check it out to learn more. And you can see it was uh, created or it thanks to Lookout, Pangu Team, Ionic, uh, and a couple of other uh, devs, for example, we know CM, QWERTY, Worry Up, and so on. So let's go ahead and see what is it all about. If you download it and you get it to open into your Xcode, you are going to see that this is the exploit itself, exploit.c. Why doesn't it work in uh, iOS 9.3.3, uh, sorry, 9.3.5? Well, it is because this exploit was patched in uh, 9.3.5 and therefore it was rendered useless after that. iOS 10 is not compatible with it anyways, so you got the idea. But iOS 9.3.4 is, and this is the first jailbreak for 32-bit device that was released in in one year. Oh yeah, and it's the first time we hear some news about jailbreaking uh, for the uh, the last five months. So let's see what it is in here. You're going to need, if you want to, um, if you know how to, uh, if you're, I don't know, advanced uh, C and C++ user, and you want to mess a little bit with the code, you can go ahead here, but in order to make it compatible with, for example, iPhone 4S and iPhone um, iPhone 5, because iPhone 5, 5C and 4S are 32-bit devices, you can go ahead and play a little bit with the addresses. You, you need to, uh, to get the uh, Hopper disassembler in here, get the kernel from the firmware, you're going to need keys for that. I don't know if they are published, oh yes, they do, they are published, keys for iOS 9.3.4. And you can you can get the keys. Uh, then follow my tutorials to uh, to disassemble the kernel using the firmware manager. Then open it in Ida Pro or Hopper in order to find the appropriate addresses for for those things because the addresses from here are suited for the uh, iPad 3.1, I think. Uh, let me check out the project, and I'm going to tell you. Yes, it's for iPad 3.1, but this doesn't mean you cannot actually. Um, make it work on other devices. You just need to uh, to find the correct addresses, which might not be the most user-friendly jailbreak because it's a open source. It was actually pushed out on, G on GitHub for others to contribute to it, for others to make it better and actually get it working on various devices rather than making it a uh, general tool. So this is good because people can work on it and, uh, and help on making it. So as you can see, we have different buffers in here. We have different kind of um, kernel address um, exploitation. So what this exploit is actually doing is to gain root access or uh, read write on the uh, device. And after that, of course, you can inject various things. You can patch the uh, sandboxing, uh, which is 
something that you need to do in order to, to get a complete working jailbreak, but it, this is a point to start on. So you can go ahead, check out in here, make sure uh, that you actually uh, double check the addresses and if they're not correct, for example, for your device, if your device is uh, an iPhone 4S, then you're going to need to find your own uh, addresses as I said. And you can see it is extremely good documented and it's extremely good uh, because you can go ahead here and see where it starts the exploit X and where it finishes, what everything does. Well, you need to understand this language, but this is the first jailbreak for a 32-bit device in a year. So the application itself is basically pretty simple. This is the app that will be created, Trident. And if we go right here on the main storyboard, I can also show you how it looks like. It is extremely simple uh, GUI, which says only Trident by Benjamin uh, for iOS 9.3.4, iPad 3.1. You can, as I said, make it work on other 32-bit devices with a little bit of work. And you only have a YOLO button that is actually um, binded to an action. So it will actually open a new view controller from what I can see here. Let me see, yes. So basically this is the code behind it and this is the code behind the application itself. You have the kernel base that, get, that gets initialized and you have the exploit kernel base and so on. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you have a couple of things in here. If you don't understand the coding, then it's not extremely useful for you at this point, but it's extremely good if you do. Uh, if you don't, I I rather tell you not to screw up your device by uh, trying, I don't know, by trying random addresses and so on, because you might get your device screwed up. And if you're on iOS 9.3.4, uh, and you screw up your device, you will not be able to get back to it. You're going to need to update to either iOS 9.3.5, which is no longer compatible with this exploits in here because they were patched. If you're on iPhone 4S or if you're on iPhone 5 and 5C, you're going to need to update to iOS 10.2 that was released today, which is not good again because there is no jailbreak for the moment for it. So this is it. I, I really wanted to let you know about Trident and what it is. Uh, and if you want to to get the keys, if you want to follow up my tutorials on reverse engineering or maybe try to find the uh, correct addresses to extend the compatibility of that app, you can go ahead here on the iPhone wiki and you need to go to firmware, click this link in order to get the keys to be able to, um, to disassemble the kernel. Go to iPhone and iOS 9.x. Then, for example, iPhone 4S, you can see iOS 9.3.4 does have keys, while 9.3.5 does not. So if you're on 9.3.4, be very careful, do not mess up your device, because you will not be able to downgrade back. And you need the kernel cache. Well, this is the kernel cache, and these are the keys. You can use Firmware Manager, an application that I created that is able to actually, uh, using that keys, is actually able to decompress the kernel and give you a usable a file that you can load in Ida Pro or Hopper. You can find Firmware Manager in here. Firmware Manager. And it looks like this. This is the application you can use. It's available for Windows for the moment. So yeah, this is how it looks like. So this is it, guys. This is pretty much how it goes with this Trident application. I found it very interesting. I personally, because I know how to code, probably not as interested for you if you don't know how to code, but it is at least something that is posted. Somebody can try to make it more compatible and yeah, you got the idea. Do not forget to stay updated by pressing the subscribe button. If you want to get more often the notifications, click that little bell icon that you have on the channel right next to the subscribe button. And do not forget to give this video a thumb up if you appreciate it. Peace out.